this evening. Crystal, leader of the Ruins gang, is determined to expand her turf. She has her sights set on the museum garden, a tiny patch of land bordering Ruins gang territory. It's small, but Crystal knows its trees will bear fruit when the rains come in a few weeks, providing extra food for her troop. But the garden belongs to rival Katie. She's leader of the museum gang, which lays claim to the land around the Berenti Museum. The two troops are equal in numbers, but Katie's young, inexperienced, and has a laid-back attitude to life. Whereas Crystal is wise, battle-hardened, and aggressive. Tonight, Crystal puts her plan into action. She leads the Ruins gang toward the edge of their territory. and into position near the garden. Crystal launches the attack. She charges straight into museum gang territory. The rest of her troop are close behind. But the museum gang is already in the garden. And although caught off guard, they're quick to react. They mount a strong defense and push Crystal out of the garden. She's clearly underestimated her rivals. With her troop, she retreats back to her own territory among the ruins. Crystal's not used to losing. The museum gang has taken her by surprise. If she still aims to capture the garden, she's going to have to watch and wait for a better opportunity. The victorious museum gang has fought fiercely to keep control. They sent Mark the garden, showing that this small patch is still very much theirs. Any ground with fruiting trees will be vital for the troop when the rainy season comes. Their babies will start to wean in six weeks' time, so they'll need all the food they can get. <laughs> 